Hey guys, it's me, Drew. Welcome back to my channel. As you see from the title above and the ghost on my shirt, it is time for the Kringle Halloween candle launch review info video that comes every single year. As you know, I am a Kringle Candle Ambassador, which means if you use my code DREWYAWK15, it'll save you 15%, including the new Halloween candles that launch this Friday, August 4th, 2023 at midnight. Now, there's a few things this year that are different with Kringle's Halloween launch than they have been in the past, and I will get into that. But I want to let you know that these are not a pre-order. So in the years past, Kringle launches their classic two-wick jar in the black, um, sort of like the reserve jar, two-wick 100% soy formula with the incredible Halloween labels as a pre-order. So you can place your order and then they make them for you. This year is a little different. They're already made. There is a set quantity and they will be available at midnight Eastern time on the 4th. So stay up on the 3rd, which is this Thursday. And at midnight, refresh your page, get your Halloween candles, put in my code, save that money and you can get your Halloween candles. Now this year, there will be 18 Halloween candles in the classic Kringle and six in the three wick soy. There's going to be no country Halloween this year, just 18 classics and the six three wick, which are, I believe, 2550, and these are 3150. Don't quote me on that. But they will be launching again this Friday at midnight. Now, some returning fragrances we have Sleepy Hollow, Witch's Cauldron, which has a new label. Witch's Cauldron is one of their classics, one of the best Halloween fragrances, super popular, cult favorite. Witching Hour, Coven, oh, I'm on the wrong page. Blood Moon, Candy Corn, Cemetery Lane, Graveyard Night, It's Alive, Nevermore, Poison Apple, Red Rum, Scarecrow, which that's my favorite. I love Scarecrow. Scarecrow is so good if it if you like like leathery, woodsy, hay fragrances. Sleepy Hollow, Witch's Cauldron, and Witching Hour. And then we have six brand new fragrances, which Kringle was kind enough to gift me for this review. Seven Days, Coven, It's Evil, Halloween, Sinister, and Trick or Treat. And then the six fragrances for the three wicks are Trick or Treat, Hallowed Ground, Forbidden Forest, Thriller, Pumpkin Smash, and Black Cats and Bats. Now, there is a Trick or Treat in the Kringle line, and in the three wick, they are different fragrances. So, without further ado, I have the six new fragrances that will be launching on Friday. Let's get into it. We're just going to go ahead and grab and go. So the first candle in the new launch is Halloween. Look at this label, you guys. So we have like this smoked black background with this pumpkin that's almost like he's hiding in the smoke disappearing with these big smiley, big smiley face. And you can see that it is like a metallic label. The eyes and the mouth are shining, shimmering, beautiful. And... And the notes on this are black licorice, anise, fennel, clove, cinnamon, nutmeg, musk, cedarwood, sweet tonka, and vanilla. Now, I've been sniffing these for a while now. And I'm not saying this because I'm an ambassador. This is the best licorice scent I've ever smelled in a candle. I do not care for black licorice fragrances at all. But the blend of the cedarwood the tonka and the vanilla with that black licorice note and then that spiced like quintessential halloween fragrances with the clove and the nutmeg this is beautiful so i would say if you are a big black licorice fan and give it a try but even if you're not i love the way this smells this is it's very sophisticated licorice Again, when I first saw licorice, anise, and fennel, I was like, oh, God, I'm going to hate this. No, it's actually beautiful. It's really unique. I've never smelled a black licorice fragrance like this. And I think the reason is because of all those other notes blended in there. It's really pretty. I think these are going to fly off the shelf this year. All right, next. Now, I am not into scary Halloween. This label freaks me out. This is called Seven Days, and it has this girl who looks, like, demented, and she has, like, 
black hair, you have no face with that forest background, but it's focusing on her. Super scary, definitely not my vibe for Halloween, um, but I know a lot of people love the scary Halloween. I'm definitely more into like the cutesy fun Halloween. And the notes on this one are dewy greens, herbaceous leaves, apple blossom, jasmine blooms, mint leaf, thyme, cedarwood, patchouli, geranium, and musk. So a very green, earthy, fresh. Ugh. But when you smell this, I immediately get the mint and the thyme. This smells like a cocktail, like a seltzer cocktail that has very heavy muddled mint and thyme in the drink itself, like a very herbal cocktail. I know I just watched Melanie Mr. Kong's mom and she says she picks up on like this fresh dirt. I don't necessarily get the dirt from this. I am definitely getting mostly that thyme and that mint. The greens, I mean, there's definitely like a green, earthy, almost like a fresh salad vibe to this. I think last year there were definitely more dirty ground scents and floral than this one. I think this one, if you want fresh, if you want more herbaceous Halloween, I would go with this one. This I feel like would be great in the kitchen to like mask odors. Like after you're cooking fish or meat or you're just cooking something that is very fragrant and you don't want to smell it. I know for me, after my food, after my dinner, I don't want to smell it anymore. And this definitely is the same way. I like that it is fresh. I like the mint. I like the thyme. Jasmine, mm, yeah. Geranium, patchouli, cedarwood. I definitely get like those sort of vibes from it. But it's a really pretty, like, herbal mint thyme fragrance. Again, label. If you don't like it, just spin it around. And that's another thing about this year's candles. I don't know if you can pick it up here, but they are actually translucent this year. Can you see that? Do you see how they're translucent? It's kind of hard to see. When you light with the flame, you can definitely tell. But they're not 100% see-through black like they have been in the past. There is a translucent finish to them yeah maybe with the lid so you can see the lid gasket through them you weren't able to in years past which is exciting all right next again look at this label this one is called sinister so we have like a man in a black cloak all you see are his eyeballs and you see like the red light in the background definitely scary some fingerprints but definitely scary and oh what is hi onyx that's my black cat. He must know that we're talking about Halloween. Hi! I, he must know that we're talking about Halloween. He wants to say hello. All right. So anyway, Sinister. Ginger, cinnamon, nutmeg, cardamom, Moscato wine, dark plum, cranberry, amber, vanilla, coconut, and musk. Totally not what I expected when I heard the name Sinister. I love this. This reminds me of that Bath and Body Works candle that came out years ago in the wine collection. It was like dark plum. Was that what it was called? I'm gonna look it up on my laptop while I hear. It was like, it had a gold lid. Bath and Body Works plum. It was a white barn candle. It had a gold lid, a deep purple wax. Here we go. Plum wine amber. It smells just like plum wine amber. I mean, the second that I smelled this i instantly was brought back let me get my my notes back but yeah oh my god you definitely get that rich plum and it makes sense because it's a dark plum there's amber there's musk there's wine cranberry it totally makes sense it smells like dark wine and amber and i used to love that candle that was the first time i went to bath and body works test stores to find like the candles before they launched and again if you like that sweet plum pastry, if you like that dark plum amber, if you like those scents, this is incredible. Again, the label is a little misleading for this just because I feel personally it is a more fruity bakery type of scent. If you like those wine fragrances, if you like those plummy, rich, warm fruits, you're going to love this. And if you loved that candle and want it again, in the soy wax, definitely pick it up. This is so pretty. Oh my God, it literally just came to me and I've been smelling this all week. And then when I smelled it instantly, I was, I instantly knew that's what it was. So good. All right, 
I love this label. I think it's so fun. I know it's supposed to be on it. So this is It's Evil. So we have like a little boy, is he holding something? A teddy bear and a red balloon. So do you see his little teddy bear right here? So we have his teddy bear, that red balloon and that blue smoky background, super fun. Now this, top notes of pastry and spice, mid notes of butter and caramel and base notes of almond and vanilla. This is so good. This is every, like, I just watched a video for Sensi from Patrice, and she said, what was it called? A TDB Dark Caramel Delicious. I forget, but she said that, like, Sensi is missing those, like, pastry notes in their wax. I totally agree. Like, this, to me, is that quintessential baked pastry note. And to be honest, this is what I think... I want to burn in the background of any bakery scent that I want to amp up that baked note. And this is totally it. Oh my God, this is so pretty. This is totally that rich bakery, pastry, sweet goodness. But that's it. There's no fruit. There's no pumpkin. There's no anything else but sweet, rich pastry. And I don't even want to say it's like a churro or an elephant ear or any of that like baked pastry. It's just the baked pastry. No cinnamon, no sugar. This is like quintessential. You are just wanting to burn this in the background with other things to amp up the baked note, which I feel like a lot of fragrances are missing that baked note. This is going to be the ultimate rich baked scent. This is a beautiful background scent. I feel like as well, if you're burning this thing in the kitchen and you have company over, maybe for a Halloween party, nobody will say, what candle are you burning? You're just going to say, did you bake something? Because it truly smells like something just came out of the oven. This is a delicious, decadent, ultimate bakery scent. Oh my gosh, this is so, so pretty. I cannot wait to burn that one. All right, let's just get this one over with. This is Coven. I don't care for this. I love the colors. Oranges are so my color. And that sunset, the trees in the background, it looks like like graves, super pretty. The three ladies that look like skeleton ladies in the background. All right, Coven. Cinnamon leaf, lemon flower, lily of the valley, jasmine, patchouli, musk, sandalwood, vanilla, and guyac wood. Now, I love guyac wood. Guyac wood is like a really fresh, clean fragrance. Mm. Oh. This is like powdery floral perfume. So as a good reviewer, I'm going to just review it for you. Uh, oh. If you like Jasmine and Lily of the Valley, this is totally you. It gives me like Chanel number no. five vibes. If you like those very rich powdery florals, I don't even think I'm going to be able to burn this. This is so strong. If I do burn it, I might burn it in my living room and see how it like translate on warm. But as I drop the lid on the ground, this is very powerful. Like this is a strong, heady white floral. So if you're not into those heady white florals, this is definitely not one for you. And I'm definitely not into those at all. So this is an easy skip for me. But again, if you like those heady white florals, give that a try. And probably my favorite label out of all of the Halloween, <gasps> trick or treat. Look at those cute little jack-o'-lanterns in this like abstracted orange, black, and yellow background. <gasps> I'm obsessed. I love the way this looks. And the notes are poison apple, green, aldehyde, or aldehydic, fir, marine, pine, cinnamon, clove, sandalwood, musk, cedarwood, guyac wood, and moss. Oh, this is so pretty. This is a very green apple scent. If you liked Poison Apple from years past, it is returning. It is one of my favorites out of the Kringle Halloween. If you don't like to experiment with your Halloween scents and you want things that you know, like apples, give this a try. Because it has that fresh green apple, or as they like to say, a poisoned apple. To me, I think I love those poison apple notes because it's like they're the crispest apple. They're the freshest apples. Mixed with the cinnamon, I don't really get much pine, but I do get that moss, that green, that earthy, that beautiful, like 
just fresh apple note. And I think out of these new scents, you have a little bit of everything. If you like that fresh apple, green, crisp air scent, you have Trick or Treat. If you want that big, heady floral, you have Coven. If you want rich, decadent pastry, you have It's Evil. If you want fruity bakery, you have Sinister. If you want very green and fresh, you have Seven Days. And then if you want that like quintessential Halloween, you have Halloween. So I'm really excited. My favorites easily out of these six are sinister and it's evil i love these again sweet decadent pastry and delicious fruity plum these are winners i'm probably going to stay up at midnight to order backups of these because i want to burn these this year and no i have i have more so i love them but as always if you guys love this video don't forget to leave a like and a comment down below Use my code DREWYOCK15 to save yourself 15% on the Halloween collection that launches this Friday at 12 o'clock or 12.01 Eastern on the 4th. So stay up, have a Halloween viewing party on Thursday night, watch some Hocus Pocus, watch some scary movies, and get ready to place your orders. I know I greatly appreciate it. I know Kringle greatly appreciates it. And I know you greatly appreciate it because you love having these in your stash and your collection. I slowly... I'm starting to decorate for fall here. I decorated my living room. I'm working on my bedroom slowly, but surely it is coming along. But don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell. That way you're alerted every time I upload a video here on YouTube. Make it a better world. Be kind and stay spooky. Happy Halloween. Bye guys.